Tim. Hey. How you doing? Chuck the movie guy. Chuck the movie guy. Yeah. Um, How are you? I, lo I love TV though. TV is my life. I love this show, yeah. but this show has a nasty habit of taking a character we love, like Peter, and then having a cliffhanger episode where we think that suddenly he's the bad guy. Like they did, and they, yes. did that, and they just did it last week, and they did it where like as they close in on the duel, I'm like, they, they can't do it, but then immediately they rectify it. But mm -hmm. I'm just like, do you, I mean, that made me angry because I, I, I really like your character. Do you get any, do you get any feedback from that? When, did you run into anybody like, what, between when that episode aired and the next one, did anybody oh, come did. up to you? A lot of people came up to me and said, don't make Peter, don't <laughs> have that happen, don't. Exactly. But I think, I think another reason, yes, I'm glad that you like Peter, and I hope yeah. you still do like him. Yeah, um, oh, I did, yeah but, uh, but it was, so, it was such a shock. A little it bit, is a yeah. shock, because also, I think, uh, you know, and, and but the writers had a very good reason why Peter was in that room with her. Yeah. What's great, though, is Peter is, no matter what happens in this world, I think as an audience member, we need to know that Peter not going right. to tilt yeah. this world. Right. He keeps it strong and he keeps it right. right. Everything else can buzz around him, but if he, or, if he is to teeter, then everything's off, and you can't believe anything. Now, let's talk about a tough day on the set when yeah. you have to pretend and that you are in love with your wife, difficult, Tiffany. I difficult. Mean, on, how tough? I mean, well, first of all, just look at her. I know. You know I mean, what so I mean? So you've got to get... Homey. So you, yeah, yeah you, so you've got to get past <laughs> that. that. You are a better actor than I, than I gave you credit for. Yeah, well, thank you very much. A lot of people uh, ask me, you know, is it difficult doing the FBI scenes and shooting it? No. What's difficult <laughs> is finding <laughs> Tiffany Peace and Attractive. Yeah, I know. I mean, oh, That's man, acting. You, yeah, I'm That's telling acting. you, you deserve a SAG award. You deserve thank an honor for that. I mean, thank you. Very now, we all know, I mean, I think the great yin and yang on this is that we know, you know, you know uh, he's a bad guy and Peter's a good guy, but, right. and he's, we slowly see your character giving more leeway as they become friends, but you know he's going to get screwed. I mean, you can't trust, you can trust him, but you can't trust him. And I, is that like no, the and that's, that, and that's a tension. Yeah. I think if ever, if Peter were to ever trust him, like kind of, in a deep, deep, deep way, right. trust him. Uh, I think the show would be lost. It would be as if we slept together in a way. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like in moonlighting. Right. right. The second they jump in the sleep, shark. Yeah, yeah, they're jumping the shark. The second they get in bed together, yeah. and so much tension is going. I think that's the same way with Peter and Neil. Yeah. If I com explicitly, completely trust him, then we then part of the show is gone. Tim, are we going to see a backstory on Peter? Are we going to get to see like you know how he got to be at his play? I mean, you do. That's so funny you ask that. What? In the next episode, you get a, you get uh, an idea of what his dad did, uh, how he went to college, um, what he studied there, and then later on, you find out uh, in uh, other episodes, you find out about his relationship with his dad. Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> well, I'm a professional at this, yes, Tim. Now I'm gonna ask you this though: As in your mind, your season one was all done. Did you have in your own a, a theory on your backstory? Did were you ever like? I did. I had. Uh, a rough idea because I sat down with Jeff Eason about my yeah. backstory but you have to be careful with giving too much specifics to your backstory otherwise they'll they'll throw something in the writing that makes you say well that doesn't go with my backstory yeah but nobody knows your backstory <laughs> only <laughs> you know so well I look forward to what's coming up I love the show thank you very much no problem appreciate it all right